India is celebrating the 75th anniversary of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, and in this series, Saga of Freedom Struggle, we honor the freedom fighters and the heroes who were instrumental in building the nation. In tonight's episode, let us delve into the efforts of our heroes in the fight for independence. Political activist, scholar, and poet Chitaranjan Das, who was born on 5th November 1870, popularly known as Desh Bandhu, Das was a close associate of Mahatma Gandhi and founder leader of the Swaraj Party in Bengal. In London, he befriended Sri Aurobindo Ghosh, Atul Prasad Sen and Sarojini Naidu among others and together they promoted Dadabhai Naoroji in the British Parliament. In 1894, in a stunning move, Chitaranjan Das gave up his lucrative legal practice and plunged headlong into the independence movement against the British colonial government. Chitaranjan Das successfully defended Aurobind Ghosh on charges of involvement in the Alipur bomb case in 1909. In his Uttarpara speech, Sri Aurobindo gratefully acknowledged that Chitranjan Das saved him. Chitranjan Das was actively involved in the activities of Anushilan Samiti. He was a leading figure in Bengal during the non-cooperation movement of 1919 to 1922 and initiated the boycott of British-made clothes, setting an example by burning his own European clothes and wearing khadi. C.R. Das was elected as the first mayor of Calcutta Municipal Corporation in 1924. He was a believer in non-violence and constitutional methods for the realization of national independence and advocated Hindu-Muslim unity, cooperation and communal harmony and championed the cause of national education. Chitaranjan Das emerged as a distinguished Bengali poet when, during the troubled days of the national movement, he published the first two volumes of his collection of poems titled Malancha and Mala. In 1913, he published Sagar Sangeet, The Songs of the Sea. In 1925, Chitranjan's health began to fail due to overwork. Chitranjan went to Darjeeling to recuperate his health. Mahatma Gandhi visited him and stayed with him for some days. Desh Pandhu Chitranjan Das passed away on 16th of June 1925. The funeral procession in Calcutta was led by Mahatma Gandhi, who said that Desh Pandhu was one of the greatest of men who dreamed and talked of freedom of India and of nothing else. C.R. Das's heart knew no difference between Hindus and Muslims and that he bore no ill will to even Englishmen. Today we remember the Lion of Bombay Firoz Shah Mehta, who died on 5th November 1915. He was born on 4th August 1845 in Bombay and graduated from Elphinstone College in 1864. Mehta went to Lincoln's Inn in London to study law. After coming back to India, he raised the need for reforms of the Bombay Municipal Government and wrote the Bombay Municipal Act of 1872, earning him the title of Father of Bombay Municipality. He became the Municipal Commissioner of Bombay Municipality in 1873 and its President four times. 
Mehta was one of the founding members and president of the Indian National Congress in 1890, held in Calcutta. He published the Bombay Chronicle, which detailed the treatment of Indians in South Africa. When Gandhi arrived in India, Piroz Shah Mehta presided over a public meeting to welcome him on January 12, 1915. He died later that year in Bombay. On November the 5th, 1945, the INA trials began at the Red Fort. The surviving members of the INA were tried by the British colonial government for treason. However, the decision to make